Today I'd like to talk about Soundsmith, which was a music program created by Hubert Albars, same guy that made Laser Force, and it really took advantage of the Ensonic sound chip for the Apple IIGS. Now I can't understate the importance of this program. The vast majority of 2GS users back in the 90s and even today use it for music composition, or at the very least just for listening to music. Many games that were made after 1990 use Soundsmith files for their music soundtracks. Now there were a few music players that could play Soundsmith files. This is my favorite, it's called Minstrel. And it was released by Softdisk, which is the same company that the founders of id Software came from. Minstrel is kind of like a primitive Winamp where you load music tracks, make playlists, and listen to your favorite 2GS tunes. So while we're on the topic of music players, let me show you one more really quick. This one's called Desk Play, and it's actually a mod player, so I'm able to play Amiga songs on it, which is pretty sweet. So you can see I have Shadow of the Beast and uh, Gods, and let me play the Gods theme for a few seconds. Alright, let's get back on track. I get distracted. That song is just way too badass. I think it's honestly one of the best game title tracks of all time, at least in my opinion. So let me open up Soundsmith. And I think the introduction song was actually created by the author of the program. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is load in our instrument files. And Soundsmith came packed with uh, several disks full of sound files and sound samples. You could also create your own samples. And this is just a subset of what they offered. Uh, let me open up, uh, here's a funny one for you. Okay, I'm having way too fun with this. So you can load in other instrument files. Really the point of the keyboard is to sample your files. Make sure you like the sound. And you can also see what note you're playing. It's revealed in the upper right corner of the screen. So once you're satisfied with the sound and you have all your instruments loaded, go ahead and create your new music file. And this is where it all happens. This is where you create your music from scratch, note by note. And you can have several tracks running at the same time, uh, totally independent of one another. I've never used them all. I think there's like 13 or something crazy. But each track, as you can see, there's two columns that you need to fill out. So the left column represents the note and the right column represents the instrument that you want to have play that note. And so, and a value of 2, um, and it shows this 2000, that is the acoustic guitar. That's the second instrument in my instrument set. So if you have five instruments in your set, 5000 would represent the fifth instrument in your list. So it just goes in chronological order. So I'll just create a quick little melody that I'm sure you'll all recognize. And let me go ahead and play it. Oh, there's one thing I'm forgetting. So if I go to music, I need to have the number of positions be at least one, so it's going to play at least once. And I'll explain more of that later. Let me just see if it works. 
All right, so let me go back to the music properties area. So like I just said, you can uh, have it play however many times you want. You can also have it loop infinitely. Uh, you can also set where you want it to start from by indicating the block number. So if I want to have it start like midway through or at whatever point I want, uh, I can specify that. But let me go ahead and load in an actual uh, song so you can actually see how this the whole thing comes together with multiple tracks running. And I'm sure it'll be much better than the one I just made. So it's a good one. How about File 23? I like this song. So it's going to warn you. It's going to reset the instrument list. So it's going to load all the instruments that are required to play this song. And let me go ahead and play it for you. So that's really all I wanted to show you. Just wanted to introduce you to SoundSmith, show you how it works. For the rest of this video, I'm just going to be playing some of my favorite SoundSmith songs. So hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching.